Two weeks into the new year and we're seeing 2020's violent trends continue. Homicides are up by 233% year to year. And remember last year the city saw its deadliest year to date. So how do we stop the violence? The city says they have a plan and tonight Elle Smith explains. Starting next month, the city of Louisville will be taking those first steps and implementing a new program that they say will reduce the amount of gun violence in the city. The program gives people like Krista and Nevada Gwynn a voice. They lost their son Christian in December of 2019 to gun violence, and now they're participating in a program geared at reducing the amount of gun violence and telling their story in hopes it will change someone's life. Trying to show these children, let's stop with the violence. It got to be solved a different way. Something in your life has to change to show you that violence is not the answer. The program is called Group Violence Intervention. It uses a three-pronged approach, including victims of gun violence sharing their experiences, social services, and law enforcement to help decrease the amount of gun violence. The goal? To intervene with those most at risk for gun violence. These kids are going outside and they think in the streets of all that loves them, and they need to know that the streets is just what that is the street. But the program will also focus on individual needs like job training or mental health services. Jesse Holiday, the project manager, says the program relies on individuals being willing to ask for help. That's the real heart of it is, yeah, you, yes, you do have to say you want some help but we're not gonna force you into help. The program has been implemented in cities across America. In Cincinnati, it resulted in a 41% reduction in group member involved homicide. And in Boston, it resulted in a 63% reduction in youth homicide. Holiday says the program does not work in all cities, but she has faith it will work in Louisville. Um, it's not successful in every city. And part of that is we have to really work collectively to make this happen here. We have to, to join forces and realize this is a community problem that needs a community response. The program has been in the works for months, but starting this February, Holiday says the first interventions will take place. And that's where the Gwens will share their experience in hopes of steering those at risk away from gun violence. Holiday said this is not quick fix. It'll take time to see changes, but she said she is hopeful that this will work in Louisville. For the night team, I'm Elle Smith.